All right, today we have a dog training collar, training management, anti-barking and disturbance, improving bad habits. I got dogs, not a German Shepherd, I got a Great Dane and a little monster. They are good dogs. Well, one is a bad dog, but the other one's a great dog, but she does bark a lot. She's a Great Dane and the Great Dane gets very, very loud. So we want something like this. Oh, there's a little lanyard so you don't lose the remote. It's pretty good. Adjustable collar, say he's a big girl, she's gonna need a big collar. And here we have, oh, so you know that we'll just beep them or beep and vibrate them. Oh, it's rechargeable through micro USB. It's got a little power to it already. This guy should also, and this one is also, oh, so this is, that makes it just vibrate. This does one or two over here. This one, I don't know what that does. So, uh, don't put it on babies. I can agree with that. Should go on the bottom of the dog's neck, of course. It's pretty standard for these kind of things. Just does this little clasp guy. The good thing is it comes off, right? Because I've had a different brand and Sadie will get a hold of them and chew them up and then it's useless. Now, with this guy, unless she chews this whole piece up, like she's just chewed the clasp up before. Now with this one, in theory, I could put that on just about any kind of collar and she should be fine. The nylon strap through here. So it goes to this side, coming up wrong way. Up through here, and then here, and then you just put this on. And there you are, so it's a little snapping in there, right? And you can adjust this, of course, and tighten it up. We'll fix that up later. Yeah, it's telling you to put the excess in here, I guess, somehow. Oh, I see. I gotta take this all the way off. There we go, so now it's nice and tight. That's not coming off, so I'm super strong. Now we snap that around Sadie's neck. Put this towards the vocal cord area. All right, so one is the signal channel button, so you can choose it channel one or two. So for one dog only, for two, you have two dogs, two receivers. So I only got one dog that's gonna wear this one, so it's just one. Sound button. Two is the sound button, so it would be this guy here. So press this button and the receiver will emit a beep signal. Well, it didn't seem to do it. It did earlier though, so I think that was just because it was, oh, this thing's not on. I see. You gotta turn this on. This will make, okay, that, all right, I got you. So this button makes it beep. This makes it vibrate. This vibrates and beeps, I see. So like Sadie's gonna get terrified from the vibration. It doesn't hurt. It's just vibration, like, it's just vibrating. Say a Great Dane's big powerful dog, scared of everything. So that vibration will scare her. So you can just beep her to let her learn or a vibrator if she's really getting out of control, beep and vibrate all at once. This is gonna be pretty good. And we lose these things all the time. Well, not me, somebody loses them. I don't wanna say who. This is my wife. But now I'm gonna take this guy and put this in here. So yeah, you gotta get it there and come out. Makes a little face there. I don't know what it means to, but <laughs> if you stick that in there, you should be able to unmute. My hands are too big. I'll have to get someone with smaller hands to help me with this part. But you know, you do that thing where it snaps on, so this will be stuck here, right? And then that way you'll have this whole cord so you don't lose this controller because we've lost other ones. Again, not me, other people in my household. My wife. And then the plus makes the vibration stronger. It goes up, you can see it counting all the way up to 10. One. Ten. There's a battery indicator here. Seven is the charging port of the transmitter. Okay, so here's the charging port, of course. That makes sense. Oh, so there is a cord here. So there's two USB. So there's a should be a micro USB somewhere. Oh, this is rubberized. There we go. Looks sneaky. Yeah, there's a little micro USB port there, and this cable splits into two. All right, I like that. Yeah, so you can just plug that in. All right, it's pretty good. All right, so let me get it checked out and then we will see if we'll get some dog shots. I'm not gonna buzz say these for no reason, but maybe she'll be around or misbehaving while I have the camera out and then we'll get her. Another thing I do is while I let her out in my backyard, I got a big backyard and my wanna come in, she won't, you can beep her audio, I don't, I don't shock her to come back in. And like one time she got out and then I beeped her with a different one and she came back in. So this one's a louder beep and the vibration she's not had before. So should work pretty good. I totally forgot the most important part right? There's no nubs. So the old one I had had little prongs that would go into her neck and say his neck got very irritated. So we didn't like using those, but then we also didn't like her barking. And then, you know, she's a big dog. So when people come over, you got to be able to control her. 
but it felt bad their neck was all irritated this just there's no metal it's just nubs it's, there's no nubs there's spots where it would be nubs but there's no nubs and i'll show you a picture of the other one in here you can see how this one should not irritate her neck which is a big plus and this guy rubber seals up she drinks water she's a great dane she slobbers so we can seal this guy back up unplug the charging port or cover it up and that way water won't get in there while she's drooling and slumbering everywhere so it's looking pretty good that was a buzz so you can see it doesn't hurt but it does quiet her down essentially i'm getting groceries delivered right now quietly sits here this is this time. 